One CD at a time, no more, no less. I don't cherry pick songs. You know how it's funny when you go into a beach and there's, there's thousands, tens of hundreds of thousands of rocks and somehow there's that rock that you want to pick up. It's the same thing with this piece of wood. It's, somehow there, there was this connection between me and, and it, him or her, I don't know. So that, that was the, the initial inspiration. Who the fuck am I? I don't have any idea who the fuck I am. I started out one thing and, and that led to another thing and that led to other things and this is where I'm at right now, wherever that is. I'm mainly a photographer. I'm trying to work on wood to get by, make it. Well, my wife at the time, uh, she, had, she had given me five years to figure out what I really wanted to do in life. Uh, when I was going to college, I started being a carpenter, and I always felt that was a temporary sort of job, which lasted 12 years. But I went down the list of occupations and uh, stopped at the P letter and their photographer. I'll be that. Way back in the day, I said I, I did um, woodworking for, for money and photography for myself. And now it's kind of opposite of that. I'd wake up images, images, thinking, photography, light, all that. And now I wake up, it's wood, joints, you know, how do I say something in, with the grain or the form or the structure of it? It started to really move in different directions. Start, actually, that was the very first thing. And then it went down to here. And then to here and there. That's kind of where it went, stayed for a long time. And that's, this is a different project. The process of creation is not linear. It's not something that you just straight from here to there. No, it's twists and turns and, and you're, no, I'm not doing this. Yes, I'm doing that. And then you start and then you stop and you redraw and you rethink and it's, it's very fluid. I was watching an Italian film. Um, I forget the name. It translates as um, tulips and bread. It was a cute little story. And the the main male character came home one night after a, a beautiful night with this woman that he's been wooing, and he he asked her if he she wants a drink, and she said no. But he said, "Well, I'm going to have one." So he went and opened up his liquor cabinet. And I said, man, I want a liquor cap. Oh, this is a piece of wood that was um, uh, from a pallet I found outside, which I loved. I ripped it off the pallet years ago, and I put it in my bathroom, waiting for the perfect project. This piece of wood really kind of, I thought of, it was sort of like um, the ocean waves. That's sort of driving the whole metaphor of the, of the piece. You know, I, I draw something out in my sketchbook and then I have to turn that into a reality. Uh, uh, yeah, that, that was the biggest technical problem, was bending the legs. Each one was an adventure. So there were uh, four legs, each was a two blew up, Per half a leg, so that was uh, four, eight, sixteen glue ups. I did. Uh, you'd think they would have somehow settled into a, a pattern or rhythm, but each one was was separate. Each one required a different amount of sweat. 
to be applied to it. So what I do is I, I pull all the laminations from one end to the next to accommodate the, the different radiuses involved. Well, that's the most time consuming. It's taken me almost two weeks to do this. So they will be glued together in this configuration, and that's one leg. And in my mind, that looks like a martini glass. The two sides of the, of the cabinet, I just couldn't resolve in my head what to do with those. And, and then I was walking by my music right behind here, and there's a, a, a book. The front of the book is, is a woodblock prints. So I, I said, man, I'm gonna, that's what I want to do. I want to do some woodblock printing, even though I've never done it before. For whatever reason, alcohol has somehow been right in there with the humans as they swam upstream through history. The archaeologists are finding wine barrels and, and wineries from 7,000 years ago. So it, I don't think there's a way we can separate alco alcohol and humans. And, to create such a temple <laughs> like I have, why is that not as good of a thing to worship as are these fictitious gods that everyone else worships? It feels, it feels like the short strokes of uh, making love, where you you have spent a long time with the foreplay. You know, the drawing, the thinking, the drawing, the thinking, the thinking, the drawing, and then you start to make it. And you're still drawing and sketching and drawing and sketching and thinking, and, and uh, you're still making it. And uh, oh, and then, you know, you're coming closer. Uh, it's done. Now it's just clean up. It's, it's like the end of the school year where the summer's coming and man, you're free, you're free. Well, this um, actually is my very first drink I'm going to make in this bar. I, I'm trying to... A do way. To reinvent myself as far as how I get through life i.e. to make money to get through life. Um, I've been a photographer since 1988, but it's becoming apparent that that won't be enough. This is strictly between you and me, Henry. But, um, I mean, I, I gotta make some money out of this thing. It started out to be just for me. I. I'd been, you know, doing this. I made a couple things for people, and I started something for my daughter, which took uh, a couple months. And I said, "Okay, man, I, I want to make something for me." And I started out, but uh, I, I have to, I have to get some money out of this somehow. It's, it's, you know, it, it, not a good thing to say. Oh no, can't no, six grand's not gonna happen, baby. No, I need, um, I need four figures at least for this. I, anything, right, five figures I'm talking. <laughs> five figures, it's gotta be five figures. I, I think I may have to engage upon um, a process they use for when you, they adopt kids. You have, you have to find a suitable parent. I just can't let this go to some asshole that won't, you know, take care when they open the door to gently allow it to fall down and realize how important it is to be opening this thing to, to the alcohol inside. You know, it, it's a certain reverence and the lights come on and, and the bottles are, are 
it's like um, Superman's fortress, you know, where all these, it's all crystal and lights. And it is so, I, I am like in love with this object. Very few things I love as an object, but this is one of them. This is that valuable, I'll die if someone assures me it'll be in the MoMA under Maker Unknown. I don't want my name on it. This is early 2000s, Maker Unknown. Cut. <laughs> It's, it's perfect.